The American Music Awards brought to you by McDonald's. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. And Bud Light, the light beer with the first name and taste. Everything else is just light. It's time for tonight's final special awards. The best way to tell the story of these awards is to start near the end. Right after the American Music Awards last year, a lot of us joined other stars from around the country and hurried over to A&M Studios for an extraordinary event. But before we go any further, let's go back to the beginning. Harry Belafonte is an actor, a producer, and one of our most gifted musical personalities. But as busy as he's been in the entertainment business, he's always found time for civil rights, the Peace Corps, and so many other humanitarian activities. So it wasn't surprising when he approached Ken Cragen with the idea of American musical stars doing something to help millions of people starving in Africa. And Ken responded by bringing Quincy Jones into the project to help gather a group of top stars for a recording that would raise money for famine relief. But first, a very special song was needed, and Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie agreed to write it. They put in long hours getting just the right message and melody, a song that would appeal to the ears and the hearts of the world. Then on January 28th, we all got together at the studio. There was nothing but good feelings in that room. Old friends said hello, and lots of new friendships were made, and some very special memories. There were laughs when everybody started to sing Harry's Banana Boat song. And there were tears when Stevie Wonder introduced, introduced a young woman from Ethiopia. In English, on behalf of my country, we thank you for all you have done. Thank you very much. And then the session was over. We all felt good about it, but I don't think we had any idea of what had really happened. It was a song, it was an idea, and it was a prayer that was heard around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Rome, Georgia, we are part of the world. In fact, on April 5th, it was played simultaneously on 6,000 radio and television stations, and the world responded. African Famine Relief Fund. And now, it's time to honor the man whose concern got the USA for Africa project started. The American Music Awards of Appreciation goes to Harry Belafonte. Thank you very, very much. A few years ago, in the state of New York, a group of artists came together to raise their voices on behalf of some local folk who were in need. That night, a man by the name of Pete Seeger, a man by the name of Donnie McLean, a man by the name of Harry Chapin and myself, and the Cold Theater talked about the plight of the underclass. Harry Chapin said that he had decided that he was going to spend the rest of his life and the gift that he had been given in the service of people who were in need, and that he was going to see to it that perhaps through his efforts, by the end of this century, there would be no more hunger 
on this globe. Harry Chapin died five years ago. It was a cruel death and a great loss. But he had thrown a pebble into a pond, and I saw the ripples. It reached Geldorf, reached me, reached Willie Nelson, it reached millions of people around the world. I accept this award tonight in behalf of all those pebbles that have fallen to all those ponds everywhere in the world and all those ripples that have made a difference. I particularly want to acknowledge all the men and women, the thousands of volunteers who are in Africa at this very moment feeding the hungry, caring for the ill, and perhaps the most significant ripple of them all will be the one that will reach out on the 25th of May in this country, when all hands will come together in a project called Hands Across America to finally wipe out hunger in this country forever. To also acknowledge the fact that the ripple has gone much further than I think Harry Chapin even realized, because it's with people like Stevie Wonders and others who have also put themselves in the service of stamping out those political systems which cause hunger, like that in South Africa and those forces against the pride. I think that it's important for everyone to know that art is not only supposed to show life as it is, but it's also supposed to show life as it should be. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge four people who really made a great difference in this project. Two for moving it forward. One is our leader, Ken Cragen. And Quincy Jones, who made us all leave our egos at the door. And the two artists who, without their great gift, would not have inspired us in quite the same way as we were inspired, Mr. Lionel Richie and Mr. Michael Jackson. In addition, uh, I'd like to thank four wonderful people. I already did all that. I know you did. Really? I'll thank them too <laughs> oh, as well. I'd like to bring them up. Can we? Yes. We'd like to bring up Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie. Is Quincy Jones here and Ken Craigan. Are they here? Why don't we try to get all the performers that were there tonight, that night, a year ago, so we can sing We Are the World together. Latoya, the Jacksons, can you come up on the stage? We're the Jeffrey Osborne. All right. Is everybody coming up? Yeah. All right. We are the world. We are the children. Elizabeth, we are the ones to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Sing along, would you? There's a choice we make here. We're saving our own lives. It's true, we make a better day. Just you and me. Everybody sing with us. We are the world. We are the children.
Greece and Europe and all U.S. airlines combined with spacious wide body 747 service across the Atlantic. Pan Am, you can't beat the experience. Celebrity guests enjoy deluxe accommodations and distinctive hospitality at the Beverly Hilton. The Beverly Hilton, the home away from home for the stars. For the American Music Awards, this is Charlie O'Donnell speaking.